Welcome to Joint Talk today. Randomness occurs. You know, I just figure I make another video today. You know, everything you know, topics and everything you know, has been kind of dry for me. You know, but I figure I got like places, the internet, you know, things to just expand my mind a little bit on things. You know, just to get a better understanding. smoking good that's how you smoke it you know so just to get it nice and lit nice and going so the thing I'm trying to get a better understanding on is apps you know what I'm saying especially like for what are the best and worst things about the marketplace where you get apps for example Google Play or app store or you know what I'm saying the actual marketplace itself and I figure I think about that every day I'm like the marketplace is just the app that shows the other apps you know but I just want to show my little issues with apps especially this probably happens because of it being technology you know what I mean like the best things about a marketplace let's start with that part the best things about the marketplace is the lifestyle apps you can download let's say you want to lose 35 pounds right there's apps out there people have created lifestyle apps you know that's what I call them where you can download an app follow the instructions on how to lose the 35 pounds for example I'm just saying this as an example find a way for you can lose that 35 pounds and freaking you got the app you know what I'm saying you know or if you're religious you know what I mean you get the bible you know read the bible or this is a regular book you know kindle books any, any smartphone could, could you can just read a book on I mean and It's very simple, you know, it makes, it makes the marketplace, the best part about the marketplace, it's simple. It's simple, you know what I'm saying? But I want to get into the worst, the worst. What are the worst things about a marketplace where you get the apps from, right? So I was really thinking. One thing, one bad thing. Apps do crash. The marketplace is an app. Another thing is it has constant updates. Constantly. And you know, it kind of gets obnoxious when you gotta get updates, new UI update. And then a new update brings out more errors in the app you know what i'm saying it's like the apps anything on the app store the app is kind of broken in a way that's why it needs to be updated 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 but then when it gets updated there's a new error in the app error the app might crash you know what i'm saying the app might fucking might the app might just lose connection somewhere else some way but the fucking phones 5G Ultra connection is working just fine. I can launch the YouTube app, the videos load. I'm just saying, for example, I have a problem with with the food delivery app I use. There's just one time where the apps, it just said there was no, no solid internet connection. I was connected to my phone data. It was fucking working just fine. Took me like like an hour, hour and a, you know, it took me, it took me a little while to fucking try to fix it, you know. And then that can go with the marketplace too. 
because it'll just say, oh, Google Play has unexpect unexpectedly stopped working, you know what I'm saying, system error, whatever, you know what I'm saying, whatever, whatever codes and whatever, you know what I'm saying, computer codes it puts on there, you know, and, you know, I just, it's whatever, though, you know, it's whatever, I just, there's always good things and bad things to anything on that matter, you know, so, it's whatever. What or who has taught you the most of information you use regularly? YouTube. I have learned a lot more in six months than a lot that I learned from high school and over all the years I've been there. I have learned a lot of things from YouTube, especially because of the video. I don't know what it is, but when I see, when I watch a video, you know what I'm saying, I can engage more, you know, even though it's the same process, but there's people that, you know, they make the videos, they make the videos watchable, you know what I'm saying, like, especially in whatever topic, like, like anthropology, you know what I'm saying, motherfucking anthropologist is gonna motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, talking about bones, I think, and shit, like, you know what I'm saying, and the motherfucker will make it look interesting, you know what I'm saying? Especially with the way that people edit videos and everything. And I kind of, you know what I'm saying? Especially, uh, shout out to all the, the meme channels, the meme, the meme channels out there, man. They're fucking funny as fuck, man. They, they know how to edit videos and, you know what I'm saying? It's fucking crazy. But I know, I knew about the earth as a whole as a as a planet youtube has like expanded my mind a little bit more like i really kind of like i really just be thinking about a lot more things crazier than beyond like regular shit like making your bed or washing your clothes you know i'm saying like beyond that like got me really thinking especially with the podcasts out there people Especially the most popular ones, you know. Bringing on people that, you know, from fucking NASA or some shit. Talking about, about aliens and all that bullshit, you know. It makes you realize, you know, you're not the only one out there. That's all it was, you know what I'm saying? Like, thinking beyond that, you know. But even, but there's people on, there's, there's people on this fucking YouTube that think beyond the just think beyond like 4D consciousness you know 